The family of an Ethiopian Israeli who is being held by Hamas is now in the United States to discuss efforts to secure his release. Avera Mengistu crossed over into the Gaza territory on his own accord back in 2014 and has been held by the terror group ever since. He had been institutionalized twice for mental issues uh, for the two years prior to that. Yet despite his history of mental illness, Hamas refuses to return him to Israel. Now, Mengistu's family is pleading for help from the White House and joining us from New York with more information is Shmuel Legesi, an Ethiopian-Israeli community activist and educator. Thank you so much for joining us, Shmuel. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So will the United States truly be able to help secure the release of Mengistu, in your opinion? Uh, yes, the United States would have a lot of uh, support and a lot of uh, influence on this matter for international community especially uh, even the government of the United States, as well as the international Jewish and non-Jewish uh, community have a great power and some kind of uh, influence on this matter because uh, the uh, Hamas, this uh, terrorist group, hostage this mentally ill individual. He has no even any kind of army service, any uh, soldier or anything. Mm -hmm. He's a civilian, mentally ill individual. Well, why is his family turning to the United state, States? This is right? unfair. Why is his family well, turning to the United States? Because to make awareness for international community how Hamas holding this mentally ill individual in the world doesn't have this news. These things, first of all, when it's given happen as the first time, the news didn't go well because uh, it was a gag, it's order, not this information not to come out. And it was not really the international didn't get it well. And the international community didn't know anything about this. And also, this is international uh, humanity, like cruelty to hold mentally ill individual as an hostage. Right. Uh, now, just so, so Shimon, why hasn't Israel been able to secure his release? What is the issue here? We, we saw the Gilad there, there exchange. Of First of all, the uh, current Israeli government, uh, they really didn't do high effort like any other uh, hostage in the past. Why is that the case? That also makes our community little and uh, unhappy on this matter and uh, but at this point uh, we see some kind of movement with uh, israeli government like especially to bring the issue to the united nation with a uh, israeli uh, un commission uh, mission mr danny danon he presents the matter with the family to the un community which also shows the israeli government some kind of effort All but right, at well this point uh, at up to this point, the Israeli government uh, really didn't do a lot of effort on this mm -hmm. matter to release this individual. Shmuel. That's why this family have to go to international community to plead for this man release. All right, Shmuel, thank you so much for joining us and telling us a little bit more um, about this case. And, and we're all praying for Avera. All right. Now, 